Well, we all know regular trips to the dentist are vital in maintaining a healthy mouth. The problem is those trips can come with a hefty bill. As a result, it seems more and more Americans are willing to literally go the distance to get a deal on their dental visit. But is that smart? More importantly, is it safe? Nine Your Signs' Maggie Vespa examines the risks and rewards of putting your money where your mouth is. We travel for work. We travel for leisure. But traveling for your teeth? Thank you. Turns out we do that too. It's called dental tourism. And according to the National Research Group, Patients Beyond Borders, in 2014 alone, more than half a million Americans are expected to head to places like Costa Rica, the Philippines, India, and of course, Mexico, all to get a deal on dental work. So we figured if that is true, if these numbers are on the rise, then we should be able to come here to Nogales, Sonora on any given weekday and find patients from America getting their teeth cleaned here. Well, we put the theory to the test. And lo and behold, that theory held up. Meet Marana resident Judy Oyen. I just came down for a cleaning. Tucsonan Loana Satoff. I've had two implants. And her husband Stanley. I've had these teeth capped in front. Each of them traveling for different procedures, all of them for the same reason. Have you been to a dentist lately? Huh? But no. nothing serious. It was very costly. Costly, at least in comparison. Patients Beyond Borders estimates dentists in Mexico, on average, charge just over a third of American ones. Same story in Costa Rica. Dr. Alberto Quiroga says it's why Americans make up 90 or 85 percent of our patients. I have patients from California, from Minnesota. Sometimes it's cheaper for them do the flight, do the treatment, and come back, than stay at home and do the day. Dental treatment. But wait, such a cut in price has to mean a cut in quality, right? Is the risk higher going to it? Much, much higher. Tucson dentist Dr. Manuel Bedoya says potentially. They're lab techs that know how to do crowns in the lab. So they figure, <clears throat> why not set up a little office and put a dental office sign on it? And I claim to be a dentist, but they practice. And the reason for it is the regulatory agencies uh, do not enforce that in Mexico. And for that reason, other dentists have told us here at Nananir's side that patients have returned from Mexico with, for instance, all of their teeth pulled. Or in one case, advanced oral cancer after a dentist in Mexico told the patient repeatedly it could just be treated with mouthwash. Despite that, Dr. Bedoya points out many dentists in Mexico are qualified and trustworthy, adding it's up to you to do your homework. They've got the dexterity, they have the experience, so find someone that is reputable. He says this even though he knows his patient pool may shrink. Is there any way for you to compete with the prices in Mexico? No. Back in Nogales, Sonora, Dr. Quiroga argues his office, where many of the doctors studied and practiced in the U.S., is one of the good ones. But believe me, we use the same materials. We use the same technology. I mean, I have some patients that come here and they say, oh, my God. I mean, they didn't know about this kind of technology. Revelations confirmed by those three patients, all of whom have been here before and have appointments to come back, and who say to any remaining skeptics. So I have to tell people do it. Go and see for yourself. It's wonderful. Maggie Vespa, KGUN 9, on your side. So if you're interested in taking a dental vacation, experts say there are steps you can take to make sure your dentist is trustworthy. For more info, head to our website, kgun9.com.